Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Sky Factory 2.5. Alright folks, sorry it's been, well, more or less a week since the last time that uh, I did an episode there. I guess recording a little too much all at once was, well, too much. Uh, but we're gonna get straight into it today. Uh, so, I have a lot of mentions. Uh, first and foremost, I have to take care of somebody who I have forgotten more than once. Where is he on here? There he is. Domorme. You poor guy. I I've I've overlooked you at least twice, if not more. So let me uh dig this up and I will reset you. There you go. As you can see, Demorme has well, <laughs> he's gotten a lot of mentions on here. Uh he had one on here before I broke it. The uh second one was because he had mentioned how I need to uh do zombie dirt uh, automation, which is what I'm going to be working on today from the mob farm. Uh, well, lots of people mentioned that, but he, I believe, was the first one to mention it. Uh, and then uh, the Java cache was uh, what uh, I forgot to mention him for last time. I said it, but I didn't say who it was for. Oh my goodness. Uh, and one bonus extra credit one for just being patient and uh, not hating me and stuff for <laughs> overlooking you two times in a row and then making you wait an entire extra week through an, uh, a double episode before I caught back up with you. So there we go. That should, uh, that should catch you up for now. Hopefully uh, I'll keep up with you in the future. Um, but uh, moving on, we have, uh, I believe, a new one. Let me double check the names here. Evan Burton who is suggesting that I automate the mob loot bags, which is great. That is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, and I will show you that in a little bit. So your name is now up on the board. Keep it up and I'll add some emoticons just like I have for some of the others. Uh, next we have uh, Infernus Fenris, which who has been on here before gets one on here for loot bags in barrels. Now I won't be using barrels, I'll be using, uh, I think it's Domorme's uh, suggestion with the cash. Uh, I will be using those because they uh, do hold a lot more, but that is uh, an excellent idea uh, working off of Evan's uh, suggestion. Then we have uh, a double whammy here with a newcomer to the list of names and that is The Dude Rocks. The Dude Rocks is suggesting that Netherrack is formed by right-clicking a stone barrel, uh, which I don't have it visible from up here, but it's those things I've been filling with, uh, um, uh, with cobblestone over there, uh, full of lava, but I right-click on it with redstone, thus giving me uh, some Netherrack, which I can use underneath instead of lava for lighting things and uh, having fires. Uh, I will do that in the future, I just won't do that at this exact moment. Now, the uh, second item that he gets here, and he gets an emoticon for telling me that the nether is a void world, so it's not really worth going to, unless I, I just want to experience another void world. Yay! <laughs> uh, but, Evan Burton, who I have on here on another one, there we go, Evan, uh, also tells me that all the dimensions except for the spirit world are void worlds. So thank you very much for that as well. Uh, I won't bother going to the end or other such dimensions, uh, but I may go into the spirit world at some point. I don't know. We could, we could check it out and see. Um, and then we go back to, uh, let's see, one of our early ones here, Raven Singh. All right, let me uh, update this. This might take me a minute. There we go. This one is for suggesting that I try out my spirit cows. <laughs> For those that are not familiar, uh, let me go into my junk chest here. Let's see. Yes, I do have a bucket. Uh, I have flowing spirit cows, and I just put out a video today, in fact, um, which by the time you're seeing this is probably yesterday, uh, of how to get into the uh, spirit world using the mod uh, <laughs> Witchery. Oh, there we go. I got a bucket of flowing spirit. Wow. That's ridiculous. That's that's not supposed to be that easy to come by, but hey, I, I guess it will be in this case. So, allow me to demonstrate what uh, good this is. Um, let me grab a few blocks here. Alright, there we go. And now, if I put this in here, 
you'll see that it's a kind of green, transparent, translucent liquid. And if I step into it, I get a regeneration effect, which would be great for many, many things. Uh, so I think I might move this uh, to another spot. I might even just leave it in the bucket for now uh, and go from there. But uh, I figure, oops, I'll just have to put back a slab here. There we go. And don't worry, there's a hole in the floor for a reason. Uh, but I might just keep that for now and use it when I need it later on. Oh boy, my junk chest is a bit full. I'm going to have to empty out some of this stuff. There we go. And speaking of sipping my apple juice just now, I have another newcomer. Actually, I'm going to put your name up here first. I don't want to pull another Demorme. Sorry, Demorme. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Do I have any space over there? No, I'm going to have to start over here now. Everybody, welcome Foxy Games. She has suggested uh, that I put on here... Uh, let's see here. If I grab an apple and I grab some sugar, another very easy to come by recipe considering that I have uh, lots of sugar cane growing over there. Uh, it's kind of grown out of my ears. I have tons of apples from the oak trees plus the apple tree over there. Uh, if I combine those with a juicer, I get another extremely simple recipe. Once again, no effort really on my part except for just grabbing some of the material. And I get fruit punch, which let me take this over here and I'll put it next to the apple juice. And you can see the difference. Two and a half uh, meat pops there plus six saturation versus three meat pops. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half, seven and a quarter, seven and a third, somewhere around there, saturation, which is <laughs> it's great. I mean, these are using some materials that I really don't use. So I, I think this is going to be my new drink. Um, so much though that, you know what, I'm going to, let's grab a whole bunch of sugar from my last harvest there. Uh, let's see, I've got 20, right? And let's grab a bunch of apples. Oh no, I don't have enough apples. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, put myself some of this together and there we go. That is my now, my new, whoops. Uh, drink of choice and I'm just gonna put the juicer back in my junk chest and just to be extra sure I'm going to throw these away that's right I just threw away a bunch of apple juice all they are is really just a bunch of apples anyway uh, so I now have fruit punch look at that oh my gosh saturation is ridiculous I look forward to automating and making uh, what is it uh, ultimate bacon or something like that I can't remember what that was there it is epic bacon check this out <laughs> that stuff's ridiculous but it's so easy to make once you uh, get some things going for it um which th that'll be a bit later right now i'm extremely happy with my fruit punch and thank you foxy games if you continue on with the uh, suggestions i'll be glad to add some emoticons underneath your name so let's get into making some stuff uh i have if, if you haven't already noticed my suffering is changed actually um this is another thing that uh yeah, I need to add another one on here for... Let's see. Oh, I should have added this before. Hold on. Be back in a few minutes. There we go. Uh, another suggestion was that uh, I wasn't using the proper materials uh, and that it did actually work. Yeah, you notice that I now have uh, plastic uh, bow limb as I was trying to do before so I didn't have to make enderium. Well, yeah. Yeah, that didn't exactly work the way that I thought that it would. <laughs> uh, I was just not using enough plastic. I needed more. Whether it be sheets or blocks, I just needed more of it. Ugh. And while this is not uh, as um, damaging as the other one, it's, uh, uh, it is now what is it, 11 and a half hearts instead of 14. Um, the fact that it is much much faster it's like almost a second faster by the time I was done uh, with this and adding some more redstone but uh, just switching over it made it another half second faster with reloading which is very key and what makes crossbows so overpowered is the ability to uh, shoot rapidly so the more I use this uh, which I have to I believe hit things with just shooting it if you notice my skill experience on that is uh, 218 just hitting stuff like shooting a tree 
is not going to give me experience on this. It's uh, when you hit a creature like uh, them or these guys down here. And you'll don't worry, you'll see some stuff that I've got going on down there. But before I get to that, let's do this. I have a bunch of wool and, of course, ender pearls from the uh, mob farm down there. I have already made a single elevator. Uh, let's see, below me here. And I'm going to put another one here. And often when uh, playing in a normal Minecraft world, it's difficult to actually find out if you're on an elevator or not because it's you don't know if you're just off the edge of it or whatnot. But in this case, because everything is a half slab, it's easy to tell when you're on it. And for those that are not familiar with how it works, you press shift and you go down to the elevator of the same color below it. You jump to go back up, which is great. I don't have to use that stairway, but I can now if I so desire. So now I have a uh, much quicker way of getting downstairs. And there we go. All right. I'm very happy about that. I look forward to adding more elevators throughout the base so that I don't have to use up a lot more space with uh, the ladders like so. But I think I will, or the stairways. I will leave at least this stairway for now. Uh, and then throughout as I get more materials and wool uh, from my little sheep over there, I will make more elevators slowly over time. So, uh, I'm sure you noticed that I had some things in my inventory. I've got a bunch of transfer nodes, some transfer pipe, and I've got something funny going on down here at the mob area. At the mob spawning area. Well, that is because I am going to be, whoops, before I go that way, I think I'm going to turn the fans off so I don't get blown away. There we go. Uh, now I have an oak barrel. I have a bunch of caches. Yay, caches! And I was able to put all the loot bags in these, plus those uh, four items that I was starting to get tremendous amounts of. Bones, uh, gunpowder, arrows, and zombie flesh. Uh, or, excuse me, rotten flesh. I always call it zombie flesh, uh, but it's it's actually rotten flesh. Uh, and, of course, I have this thing here, which is collecting items. Uh, I kind of cut them back a little bit and dumped a bunch of the goods in there, took them out of here as well. But I want to automate all this so that it is uh, going to hook up everything and put everything in its proper place. Now, of course, I will have to arrange these so that they are a little prettier. I mean, you can already see that I've got all of the uh, petals from Batania started off, but there are 16 different colors, so I'm going to need at least uh, four entire sections of these just for the petals in the end, uh, assuming that I will get all those colors. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to pipe up and around and into all of these so that at least those items will be taken care of. Then I want it to go from there into all this stuff. So, this should be interesting. Start off with, I'm going to attempt, oops, to put on top, oh boy. All right, here's, here we go. Dun, 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 Okay, I am stopping with the music, don't worry. Uh, I was just expecting myself to fall off the edge upon just jumping up on the fence. And I just put that node in the entirely wrong spot, but that's all right. I have my pick, and it got sucked in, into the, uh, the hopper. That's all right. I'm going to take all this stuff back out. Give me this stuff, and then I am going to mine that so that it stops giving things to that. You know what? I am going to... Oh, no. No, no. That's actually... That is okay. I'm going to leave that there. Uh, let's see if I can get up here and then get on... Nope. Get up here. And then get up here, and then can I can I reach it to place it on top? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to try very poorly to come on over here. And hopefully it will automatically fill all that stuff up. Now let's grab some of these things that should go in there. All right. And then I'm going to drop some of this. And we shall see what happens. Does it go into the chest? Some of it does, because it's doing a bit of round robin. So, what I'm going to need it to do is go through this stuff first, mm, and then go through that stuff second. So I might move all these, actually, uh, which would mean I'll need to make some packing tape. Let's see here. Recipe for that is paper and... Oh. Slime or blood. That takes forever to make. For those that uh, don't recall last time, it took me a while before I was able to even get one piece of uh, 
coagulated blood. So maybe, maybe I empty them out by hand and move them over to the other side. So that it'll go through these first and then over to the uh, other setup. So I will do some manual labor and I will be back shortly. And there we go, a drawer controller. Now, with this, I should be able to easily have the leftovers go to the right place. Yeah, I hear you, Zomble. Alright, so if I put this here, there we go. Then I just need to run the pipe along here. Oh, I ran out of pipe. <laughs> I'll be right back, folks. I'll just get some more. Well, at least I have a use for all this aluminum. There we go. That should be more sufficient. I'm going to have a little sip on my fruit punch. Thank you very much. Oh, it's good. Look at that saturation. It's ridiculous. Oh, an Enderman. Yes. In fact, let me help you guys out with that. Yeah, there you go. Get wrecked. All right, uh, so let's just kind of jump there. There we go. And now hopefully, oh, that is, oh, it is working. But it's not going into this stuff. Oh, that's right. I put those on, oh, those are the wrong thing to put up there because those are trying to, oh my gosh, and I've got to turn the fans off. <laughs> I'm getting blown away. <laughs> All right. Those are currently trying to uh, do the opposite of what I want to happen. Uh, I need to just put regular pipe down there. Let me grab all this stuff while I'm at it. I don't know what I was thinking with that. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, there, there. Let's see if I can slowly get this stuff to go. There we go. So now it should travel along this path and then end up there. Uh, now let's grab all those and those, those and those, and those and those. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. All right, so let's see if it works. Now I know that there's a bunch of junk in here, uh, but I'm going to, let's see, count the, let's take out all the bones, and then I'm going to throw a bone in there. All right, it did not go in here. This is good. So now let me check here. Bone quantity is 9 times 64 plus 38. So there's 614 stored. Let's toss another one. 614. 615. Oh, it's just taking a second to get down there. 617. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking this. And uh, the bones are not going in here, which is great. Uh, I can actually... Uh, I'm going to be risky here. Uh, let's take that off and shut the bottom off. And then I'm just going to take all this stuff out that I can. And I'm going to put it down here. Now I realize that um, there is plenty of stuff that still needs to have a home. Well, currently it should have a home once it uh, gets there. You know, I might as well just shift click this stuff. Oh, I just put redstone and glowstone. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just get rid of all this here. You could take that too. Oh, heh. <laughs> it might be a bit full. Yeah, a little full. There it goes. I'm going to need some speed upgrades on this thing up here. Where did I put that speed upgrade? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I put it downstairs with the lava. I don't need it on that. I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my new elevator. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find that speed upgrade that I have somewhere. Um, is it in this one? No. 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 Tell me I put it on one of these, right? No, I didn't put it there at all. Oh, I probably put it on the one upstairs. Oh, well, at least I <laughs> my trip wasn't as long as it was before because of my... Brand new elevator. Woohoo! I think it might be here. There it is. Speed upgrade. Now let's see if I can assign this. Oh, hello, creeper. To 
this. There we go. And now I just dump a bunch of stuff in here. That, 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 and that should do it. I think that's all of it. Yeah. There we go. How's the bones looking out? 745. <laughs> yeah, looking a bit better. And I knew that there were some things that I did not have uh, any of yet. Ooh. Another quartz? Did I obtain that from them, or did I have that in my inventory? I don't even know. I know that sticks, redstone, mm, glowstone. Looks like I'll have to add at least another uh, set of drawers down here. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to get the rest of these uh, petals or not. I, I suppose that doesn't really make a difference. Goodbye, zombie. See you later. Ha ha ha! Okay, sorry. It, it's the little things, folks. Um, so... Oh, and actually with this being plastic, I can now repair it with plastic, which is a lot easier and cheaper to make than Enderium. Uh, even though I am now getting uh, Ender Pearls at a pretty good rate. A pretty good rate indeed. Um, Alright, so let me put that away. That was lovely. That was very lovely. Put away the ingot and a few other things. I'll be right back. There we go, some more oak drawers, plus I've got another cache. And the reason for this is I'm going to move the ender pearls because, you know, they've got those weird stack size of 16. Uh, I'm going to move those into one of these uh, units as well. But I think I might, hmm, I might pick this up. This is going to take me a moment here. It does work, and I know I'm using the wrong tool, but I'm going to put that there. And that there. There we go. And now I just need to grab ender pearls, all the ender pearls, and put them in here. There we go. And now it'll hold quite a bit in there. All right. This is this is lovely. So here is something that's of interest. Uh, if I try combining some of these common loot bags into an uncommon or uncommon into uh, the rare, etc., then they no longer will go into these chests. Like if I make a uh, uncommon loot bag from four common ones, they will not go into these uh, little caches or anything. They therefore have some special difference in their uh, unique creativity. So um, that that's a thing. Uh, but I do plan on uh, hopefully shortly automating these to uh, make to automatically these make themselves into those and those into those and those into the legendaries etc um, and I'm going to grab all these and put down another set of drawers let's see if I can there we go uh, put in here there we go and some of that uh, put the sticks in up here and then just in case, put the nether quartz. And I do have all these other ones, uh, just in case those uh, still fill up. Plus, you know, you never know if you get those extra, uh, extra, extra items. You know, I might as well just, there we go. All right, this is, this is shaping up pretty nicely. Now, here's the trick. To get this into here, uh, I believe, oh, I just put them away. I'm going to need uh, some of those item transfer nodes. Uh, one to put them in, and then some pipe to take them out. Possibly, I I don't even know what I'm going to need here. So let's grab a bunch of these, because I have a bunch now. This is good. All right, so the idea is, hmm, if I put this on here, it's going to connect up there. Uh, the extra utilities. I don't know if it's going to work what I need to do in order to... Make it not connect to that. Well, either way, I have it now in my hand. Uh, so, hmm. I suppose, oh, actually, I don't need that up there either. I could do a bit of pipe readjustment here. Could make it go up. And yeah, I know, I'm making this look real pretty now, aren't I? And then it does not connect. If anybody knows of the uh, tool that I need to use for the uh, uh, this stuff, that would be great. Oh, look, there we go. Perfect. And then I need something on the side of that to take that and put it into a chest or another unit. Hmm. I think I'm going to go make myself another cache. Be back in a sec. All right, here we go. Now... If I put this cache here, 
nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to want to put it... Hmm, I hate putting it over here, but I think that's the place to put it for now. Because right now, this is my only way of getting back here, and actually... Hmm, I'm going to want to chop this out of the way. There we go. And then a bunch of stuff goes in there. Let's just toss that all in. Pink floral powder too. Some gum powder. There we go. So now I have a way of... Whoops. I thought I had a way of getting in there. I'll have to work on that. Uh, the fans. So, if I take this transfer node, put it on the side. Alright, it's not doing anything yet, which is fine. Then it can hook up to that. Yeah, I don't want to go up and around because then it's going to hook up with the rest of the stuff. Uh, but, I think I'm going to need uh, an upgrade. This is good. This is very good. Four lapis, seven iron, and a couple of sticks. Should do the trick. Make that, then let's see, put that in the center. I believe. Iron like so. And Lapis. World Interaction Upgrade. Ding. Achieved. <laughs> Come on. Don't stop running now. Alright. Get back over here and see if I can put this in place. And if it will or will not take the earth from it. it does not seem to be taking it from the side. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. That might not have been the issue. It might be... Uh, it might be that uh, it needs to come in from the bottom. I don't know. Which could make things a bit more challenging. Uh, let's try this out here. You know, I will just have it come all the way out here for the moment, just so I can see if this works. Put this on top, and then have this pipe go crazy town. Yeah, it's not working like that, which is fine. Oh shoot, that's not what I wanted. And I can't get pie now. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. It's because it was a, uh, a pipe is only uh, a th thinner thickness. Um, so, what am I going to do here? I am going to have to rearrange this slightly. I don't like how this is working. Alright, let me rearrange this and I will be back in a moment. Aha! I've got it working. Alright, so instead I just moved the zombie flesh one down here. Or, sorry, rotten flesh down here. Had it come down. I don't even need the world interaction upgrade. I might need it for something else later, though. And it goes into this barrel and then into here. So I might, uh... That's going to be rather slow, but yet effective, I think. Um, it's probably going to work through the rotten flesh faster than it makes. I, I don't know. I might set up a couple of these just so I can get a little bit more wood, or sorry, dirt, faster. Uh, so I'll be right back after setting that up. All right, there we are. And actually, I don't think I need the uh, second upgrade. We can just do that and that. Oh, that's that's not going to work on the bottom. My bad. Whoops. Well, I guess that will end up in one of the uh, miscellaneous chests here. Oh, look at that. I've got glass bottles. I forgot about glass bottles. There we go. Grab that. I thought I had sugar already down there. I guess not. Oh, the fans. Let me go. Give me my chests back. And I'll grab the sugar, which, <laughs> once again, another item that I could use. Hmm. Oh boy. Looks like I might need an extra set of drawers after all. Hmm. <laughs> I might uh, set this up above. Yeah, I think I might do that. There we go. I know it looks a bit bunk, but I don't care. Uh, as long as, as long as it's uh, gonna work for us there, and I'll set that on the side just so that it uh, makes sure to shed some light on top of it. 
All right, and the reason is I'm still trying to keep this clear in case I get the rest of the petals, because I know that there are 16 flavors. We'll get to it eventually. Have a little fruit punch, and let's see. I have four dirt already. Excellent, which is going to help me expand my fields exponentially and fast. All right, I think that's enough for today, folks. I know we didn't really get into the book to do any achievements, but uh, I think I've just got a little bit of cleanup to do, uh, and then maybe we'll uh, get into some really good stuff next time. So thanks, everybody, for all the help. I really appreciate you uh, donating all the comments and so on. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.